Hey folks, Angelique Wiley here, business consultant, and today our topic is, does my company need an audit? Now, you're probably thinking, gosh, what's an audit? All right, well, an audit really is, you can have a professional third party or some kind of third party within your business. Come in, take a look at all of your processes, um, all of your records for a specific process, and just make sure that it's up, up to snuff, you know, it's up to par. Um, you know, are, is everything that you've put together as far as that process, is it correct? Does it meet whatever the standards are industry-wise or the regulations that there are, possibly government regulations-wise? Um, if it's in, in the terms of financials, are they presented in a fair and consistent manner to financial and accounting rules, that type of thing. So it's just a it's just an overall general look of what the process is in that department that you're auditing. And then just making sure that you look at everything in full detail and, and then write down what's kind of missing, what you could work on, what you've done well. Uh, so that's kind of what an audit is. And you usually always have that done by a third party. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go out there and hire some expensive company to do a third party audit of your business or whatever part of your business that you need audited. Um, but you definitely don't want to be doing the audit yourself because then you're not looking at it with a clear view because you've set up the business or that part of the business and it's not fair for you to be auditing that part of the business because you're not looking at it at, from a clear point of, point of view. Now you're probably thinking, what companies need an audit? Um, if there is uh, an employee that leaves in a department, or that's a main part of your business, you might want to do an audit just to make sure that what that person was doing or what department or what that person was handling uh, is still running smoothly before you have somebody else take it over. Large companies um, almost always need audits. Um, if there's shareholders or a board of directors that you have to report to and they want to see um, the progress of your business, you probably will need an audit. Uh, if you have a bank loan, almost always you'll have to do an audit every single year um, so because they want to see proof of that. Uh, if you have a division or a department within your company that's newer and um, you want to just see how is it performing, is it doing what we thought it was going to do or do we need to shut it down, uh, you'll probably want to do an audit. Um, and you're probably thinking, well, what kind of audits are there? Now, when you say audit, a lot of people just automatically think financials, all right? And and that is probably one of the biggest types of audits that are out there is a financial audit. But there's so many more types of audits that you could be doing for your business. One, safety, a safety audit. I mean, if you're running a warehouse or a distribution center or a, um, you know an operations of some sort, uh, where somebody's dealing with tools or fixing things or um, riding on equipment or dealing with tools of some sort, you want to do a safety audit. Safety audits are pretty big and you definitely want to be looking at safety and have a safety committee. I mean, that's very, very important. Um, inventory control and uh, doing either cycle counting or physical inventories every year. Very important. If you have inventory on hand, you want to make sure that you are reconciling that on, an, on a regular basis, whether you're doing cycle counting daily, weekly, monthly, or you do one once a year physical inventory and then you just kind of do counts throughout the year. That's an audit. Um, and then auditing the process behind your inventory control is obviously very important. And I'm going to do another video about inventory control and cycle counting, um, but that's the type of audit. Risk management. Wow, this is a big one. Everybody, every company should be doing a risk management audit every year to just kind of review what your risks are of your business. Do I have enough insurance? You want to maybe do an insurance audit. Um, you know, have the risks in your business changed? 
So doing a risk management audit is always a good thing. Um, records, a record, records audit for compliance. Do we have all of the necessary documentation for processes, procedures, policies? Um, and whether that's an HR or different departments or divisions um, within your company, making sure that you do a records audit, make sure that everything's up to snuff. Uh, most companies I've dealt with, we've always looked over our processes once a year, uh, making sure that they are still current, that if an employee, if there was an emergency and half the employees called out sick and the office personnel had to go do some physical labor, can they do it or would they need to look in a binder at a process and to be able to do the, to do the process itself? Um, so always doing a records audit. It's really important. Doing an IT audit. Um, you know, your information technology area of your business is important. Your computer functions, your computer programs that are running your business. Um, are they up to date? Is your equipment up to date? You can even do an inventory of your IT equipment and do an audit of that. Um, is there something better out there? I mean, I know it's hard to change programs um, because that gets very costly and it could be in the millions of dollars to change a computer program for your company, but do an audit of it at least and then talk about and think about, write out all the risks of not doing an, an update on something for IT. Um, emergency response and disaster recovery. That's a huge one that a lot of people, a lot of companies fail to do on a year to year basis is to what is our emergency protocol if something happened, um, if there was a terrorist attack, if there was a bomb threat, if there was, you know, something that happened or if dis disaster recovery, let's just say that there was a fire in your warehouse or something did happen, are the processes up to date and are do all the employees have copies of that? Um, so there's a lot of different areas that you can audit in your company. It's not just financials. I mean, when you're doing a financial audit, obviously all the financials are presented and they need to be in accordance with the um, generally accepted accounting principles. And people may have heard this before, it's the GAAP. Um, the, these rules or these principles, they promote consistency and fairness in financial reporting through the business in all departments. So if you've got a huge corporation and you've got 30 different departments or divisions within that corporation, are they all doing their financials the same? Are they all following best practice for the company? Uh, and so you might want to just do an audit on one division or department. Um, if you have a large project that's coming up and you need capital, you may want to do an audit of the whole business to kind of see where you could pull the money from. Um, there's a lot of different reasons why you want to make sure that your fi financials are up to snuff, really, and up to par. And doing an audit is a very good thing. A lot of people go, oh, we're getting audited. It's the most horrible thing we ever had to go through. Um, an audit's terrible. They're going to tell us everything we're doing wrong. No, that's a good thing. You want them to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you can do better so you can challenge yourself. You always want to be growing. Always want to be growing. And you want them to tell you what's wrong so you can fix it. And then when you get audited next year, that won't be a problem anymore because you've fixed it. And... It grows your business. It's good for your business. And so I always suggest if you want something looked at in your business, hire someone to come take a look at it, whether it's a consultant or an auditor, a professional, third party. Uh, it's a good idea. And uh, don't be afraid of audits. There are needs in business for audits, and they're a good thing, whether you have a large or small business. So don't be afraid and take it with a grain of salt. Growth is good. If they gave you some suggestions, you just learn something new in your business. And growth is always important. So you have a great day and don't be afraid of audits. And uh, start taking a look at your business and where do you think that you need an audit. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.